today on 11th Gorgeous. Not even kidding. And it was a struggle. I'm about to lose control. <laughs> I can't laugh at her. She tries. I do. Yay, rain. And it makes them smell worse. S dog, T money in a house. Hey guys. We have a new video, which is the video that is in your subscription feed from everybody right now. And you clicked on it. <laughs> it's Congratulations. our. Yeah, you won our February favorites. <laughs> no, but really, where did February go? It's a really short month. Oh my gosh. I was taking a shower today and I was like, why are there only 28 days in February? Who decided that February gets, gets shorted? Shafted and only gets 28 days. Right? So I really enjoy I, February. I want to know. We only had 28 days this month to find favorites. And it was a struggle. It was a struggle. The struggle is real. <laughs> Let S Dog kick it off because she's like, yo, what up? I got my favorites here and I just want to show you. I don't have a new name yet. I'm going with S Dog. <laughs> what? S Dog, T Money in the house. Anyways. S Dog, kick it off, girl. I'm getting to it. February has Valentine's Day and for Valentine's Day, I got a perfume and it's a good perfume. You know, you wanna smell it. It smells like Biolage hair product. Not even kidding, I love it. Not even kidding. I really do, I love it. And it's Lucky Darling, in case I didn't say it, because I fail. And I love it, and it's got a pretty bottle, and it just smells really good. Yum. And it makes me excited for summer. Okay guys, this next favorite is probably not gonna come as much of a surprise because we've been talking about it, or we've been Instagramming pictures, and you might have seen our Epic 48 videos, but it's the new secret deodorant from the Destinations Collection, and our favorite right now is Paris. the Paris one. It's like perfume on your armpit. Yeah. It's so good. Who doesn't want perfume on your armpit? I, I know I do. Well, because I mean, have you ever tried to spray perfume on your armpit? It no. doesn't work, and it makes them smell worse. So, deodorant <laughs> works. So there you go. And it smells like perfume. Yeah, and so, okay, this is 48 hours of odor protection, so you can, if you forget it the next day, you're covered. Just know that and I just really like it. So, bit of information. We are actually going to be doing an Instagram takeover of Secret Deodorant's Instagram this weekend. We're going on our own little epic 48 hour adventure in our hometown. It's gonna be really You're fun. You're gonna wanna see the things that we're doing. So, if you want to see those, you have to be following Secret Deodorant because we're gonna be on their Instagram taking over. Oh my gosh, I just forgot to put, I realized I forgot to put on blush. Are you guys, no lie, I totally forgot blush. I just had to reapply it. Okay, but anyway, love this deodorant. We're gonna be taking over the Instagram. It's gonna be so much fun. We'll have it linked down below so you guys can check it out. Also, you'll wanna come back Monday either to just check our, our channel and social media on Monday because the contest that we have been talking about is going to go live on Monday. We'll have a special link for you guys to enter so we can come have an epic 48 hours in your hometown and there will be a few winners so it's not just one. Oh my gosh. A few of you oh my gosh. So exciting. Get excited. Yay. If you're excited, leave a comment down below and tell us how excited you are. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control. I, I, know, I, like I, know, it. I know, I know, I know, I want to have an epic 48 hour adventure with you guys. Yay! Nail polish. I actually was watching our favorites because I like to watch our favorites before and make sure I'm not duplicating too much. And I had an SC nail polish in the last favorites. It was like a sparkly one. This one is SC Lilacism, which is an oldie but a goodie. And I just love the color. I have it on my toes. Kind of makes me look like I have a little bit of frostbite on my toes. But on the fingernails, it's really pretty. It's like pale purple and it gets me really excited for spring. I have SC Borrowed in Blue on my nails. It's just, a favorite. It's a good one too, yeah. in case you were wondering. I have a foundation favorite, oldie but goodie, throwback. It's the CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous 3-in-1. Gonna be wearing 820 right now because I'm kind of yeah. pale. It's an HG. Yeah, so G. sometimes my Revlon can be slightly drying if it is a dry time of year. It's been really cold and dry here lately, so that's gonna change today. It's supposed to rain. <laughs> Yay, rain! But I've I love this one always. Next I have a lotion. It's a hand cream to be exact. 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 This is Love and Toast and it is in the scent Honey Coconut. I almost said Handy Coconut because I read hand cream and then honey. But this is another thing that's making me excited for like spring, summer because I love coconut. It smells right. And this is really creamy. It's 
my favorite hand lotion right now. And like she said, it's really dry right now and this is much needed, especially in between my fingers. Like comment down below if you guys get, like do you ever get that where it just gets really dry and hurts in between my fingers? I don't. Like you don't get it in between my fingers. No, I don't. You get it in between yours. <laughs> Anyways, I love that hand cream. It's amazing. Okay, I have a hair product. This is from, I think like an Ipsy or a Birchbox situation. Yep. And it's the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Tri Wheat Leave-In Conditioner. And I've just been spraying this, you know, before I comb my hair out while it's still damp, before I blow dry. And I just feel like it's good for conditioning and detangling. And, you know, I have damaged hair from bleach and heat styling. So, you know, whatever I can do to help protect it, I try. She tries. I do. Really hard. Not that hard. All right, my next one is a super dirty brush. I'm kind of crooked, to be quite honest. But this is the brand, and it's fading, look. Man, this is a loved brush. This is from the Real Techniques line, and right now it smells really yummy, and we'll get to that in a minute about why it smells really yummy. But this has just been my favorite blush brush for a while now, I feel like. It's just got a light brush, and it makes the application easy to um, build. You can do it light, or you can do it really, really solid. All right, for cleaning our makeup brushes, I have really been loving this. It is from Mamie's, which is a beauty supply store in California, and we got it in a sample kit like from iMats last year, and I just started using it recently, and it smells so good. We talked about the pre and spirit in the last favorites video, and it's like a lemony smell. And like this, that one too. This is like a vanilla-y, like sweet, I don't know, it's really strong alcohol at first, but then it leaves like this nice sweet scent behind. And like, I just want to apply my my makeup with my blush brush all day long because it smells so good. So I'm totally gonna buy a bigger size of that because I'm almost out. She said she just started using it and she went on a she went on a spree. We sat down and cleaned a bunch of brushes. Yeah. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting pretty excited for the Divergent movie. Oh my like, gosh! Over the so freaking excited. Our nephew is pouring Stuck through it. it. He's just like trying to get through that book right now and he loves it. I know. And like I think I said either in the last one or the one before that, I was working on listening to Allegiant on Audible, and now I kind of want to go back and re-listen to Divergent before I watch the movie. Yeah. Get it fresh in your mind. I know, because I love going to see, I was just watching Twilight this morning, and I love movies and books, especially when they're done well, mm -hmm. and so I want to re-listen to it so I can really, really enjoy the movie and the book together. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I'm probably going to do that as well. I also need to do Allegiant because... I'm ready to know what happens, even though you I guys know. commented and told us that we were gonna be so sad. I think I'm to the turning point in Allegiant right now. Like, don't tell me things. No, Don't tell me. No, 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 no. Some things have been found out. Like, you know how you get to the thing, it's like the shocking moments, I guess yeah, is what yeah. you would say, are starting to happen. Point. Yeah, so I think it might go from there and go boom, and oh. I might be like, eh. We'll see how I, yeah. Well, if you guys want to get a free book from audible.com, you totally can. If you use the link audible.com slash EG, we will have it linked down below so you can check it yes. out. And please tell us what books you are currently enjoying down there so we can get more ideas to download more books. We still have to read Fault in Our Stars. Our stars. That's, Fault in Our Stars, yeah. Well, yeah, that's, I'm not ready for that one yet. No. I'm working my way up there. Maybe after Allegiant and I get a little upset after that one, I'll be ready to be completely upset and just listen to that one, so yeah. That does it for our February favorites. We hope you enjoyed it. We want to know what kinds of things are you loving? Makeup, skincare, hair care. Leave it all down below. TV, movies, books, all of it. Yeah. We want to know. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Yes. Make sure that you are subscribed if you're not already. And be sure to check out any of the videos we have linked at the end of the video, wherever they happen to be. And we will talk to all of you guys in our next video. We sure will. Which will probably be Monday. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys.